Salzburg second season finale. Yep, you heard it, guys. Salzburg has ended, but wow, okay, um, in a big way. You perforin cannon punch. <laughs> Natawa ka, natawa ka memory tisa dun eh. Then, then in the aftermath, in the aftermath, hindi niya ba yung boss? Eh, may mga tinuturuan siya mga naib, mga naib cells. Grabe. But, um, no wonder, kaya, no wonder, um, the, the black good bacteria, na nagam, uh, he, he escaped. Nagtawag pala siya ng resback. <laughs> Which, uh, well, ang lalaki mga good bacteria. Walang laban yung mga harmful bacteria sa kanila eh. Ang lalaki eh. Ang lalaki eh. So, final scene. Well, cancer cell is defeated. Kasi, kasi well, yung mga harmful bacteria na yung uh, nag na, yung emissions nila which, which, which serves as fuel for him, were, they, they, got, they got defeated by, uh, by these good bacteria. Yung mga malalaki giant good bacteria they, they all got well of course along with uh, the assist from the white the white blood cells that uh, that came that came to help okay kumbaga joint effort sila mga the giant good bacteria and the white blood cells joint effort sila sa pagsupo sa mga harmful, harmful bacteria when all were when all were gone okay cancer cell is now vulnerable well just like just like in season one, 11:46 delivers the final blow. <coughs> Pero iba yung ane, mas mas brutal, mas brutal yung pagkakapatay ni pagkakapatay ni 11:46 dito this time. Nilas nilas subatok dito nga. Uh, he did a uh, a literal backslash dito. Alam mo din nakatingin si Carlos yung pa, bagi na nung lass lass dito. Wala. Even in a normal human, you do that to a normal human. You will die of blood loss pag dito kanil last last kay sa party actually ng lay. So yeah. Overall, it was a really good finale. Right? <clears throat> but not as uh it, it wasn't uh it wasn't as um it wasn't as high impact as the season one finale, kasi yun talaga high impact eh. Talaga, uh, talaga parang wala na pagkasang bumutil na gay. Eh. But until that giant needle came into the body and injected new red blood cells, okay, that, that was awesome. It wasn't as awesome. This finale wasn't as awesome as the season one finale, but hey, it's it's still a really good one. Pace, well. Uh, pace, uh, it's understandably fast. Okay, kasi, syempre, they were up against a cancer cell. So, talagang, they have to pick up the pace. Talaga, triple time sila sa pag, uh, pagsumpo rito. Alright, then, the flow, biglang, pinakang mabigat na cambio rito, yung pagkaka, yung pagkakapatay ni, ni 1146 sa cancer cell. This one, it, it, it was more brutal. Mas brutal ngayon. It was, it was a more brutal delivery. Okay, so of course the plot carry over from episode 7. Which was a good carry over. It was a really good carry over. I don't know if you can say that uh, the season finales will be uh, will be as good as this. But well I hope. Uh, I hope they uh, I hope they follow Cells for Classics lead in, in delivering an awesome finale such as this. A finale as not well, a, a finale as awesome as this. Okay, so sales at work second season finale. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Well, uh, David Production. Uh, I'm a bit disappointed in David Production actually because it's only an eight episode season. Don't allow it to. All right. <clears throat> they, they probably have their reasons because, hey, well, uh, what happened last year, okay, COVID. So they were depleted in 
every animation studio got depleted in manpower. Kasi, well, some of them outsource their animations like uh, like JC staff. Okay? Most of their animators, most of their animators at Yata are are in China, Hong Kong, either Hong Kong or Shanghai. So na delay ang production ng to araw aga ano real ganon. Na delay lahat ng projects nila JC staff. So, the production probably experienced the same thing. Kaya ang ginawa nila. Bis na 11 or 12 episodes ang season 2, ginawa nilang 8. So, episodes 2, 3, and 4, back-to-back -back cases. Kung baga, 2 episodes in 1 each. But, um, I don't know, I don't know what, uh, I still don't know what their reasons are kung bakit. But, if you know, comment below if you're on YouTube. Tweet, Twitch, if you're, if you're watching this, comment in the chat. So, probably, well, uh, now that Cells at, now that Cells at Work Classic uh, has uh, ended for a while, this is season two. David Production might, might probably, okay, it's no theory ko. David Production might uh, now do work on, might, huh? might, this is just my theory. Might do work on another JoJo series. Baka mm -hmm. They are the animators of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure franchise. Alright? And, well, Golden Wind ended in 2019, so... We're due for another one. But anyway, enough of, enough of JoJo stuff. We, we'll have to talk about Cells at Work stuff right here. I hope... Um, Cells at Work Classic would be back. Okay? We should not wait another three years. For another for another season of Cells at Work Classic, total there's cold black right now to um, to satisfy our cravings for this franchise, okay? To satisfy our re for our re-education, okay, <laughs> of uh, of this franchise, uh, brought about by this franchise. So, well, anyway, David Production, thank you, okay? thank you for delivering another. Uh, Delivering season two of Cells at Work Classic. Okay, I really want to call it classic. I said there's there's a spin-off name. There's a spin-off. So you have to distinct you have to vocally distinguish uh, the two. So, but I hope Cells at Work Classic would be back for another season. Okay. I say uh, although the manga has ended, that doesn't mean the an the anime will also be ending. No. But I before uh, before the before we uh, take, before the animators take on the final arc of the manga. The final arc of the manga tackles COVID-19. Okay? Uh, I think it's not yet uh, No. Yeah. It is the final arc, but I I have no idea if it's na or not. So, there are many things that can be discussed in Classic before the final arc. So, I hope, I truly hope that Cells at Work Classic would be back for another season. Because, well, if you base it on, if you base it on the, the actual final scene of the, of season two, mukhang babalik. <laughs> mukhang babalik. Okay. 5843 hasn't given much exposure in this season. Did you notice? Okay. Did you guys notice that? It's mostly uh, 1146 and Ordinary Cell. Okay. Ilan lang yata naging appearances ni... ni, ni, na, ni 3803. 30, 3803 rito eh. But, I'm sure if, uh, if it comes back for another season, she will be given more exposure. She is so cute when she, when she, when she suddenly drops that box of oxygen. <laughs> Lumalabas sa pagiging... Lumalabas sa pagiging yan eh. Ang pagiging waifu niya. <laughs> Lumalabas sa pagiging waifu niya. So again... Sounds of Work second season finale. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up, Twitch. That's all I got to say about uh, Sounds of Work Classic for now. So, I'll see you guys. Well, if ever, uh, if ever Sounds of Work Classic, Sounds of Work Classic gets another season, for sure we are going to review that. You will see me watch. You will see me watch that.
Cells of War Cold Black Episode 10. Grabe. Ang bigat. Ang bigat sa dibdib yung nangyari sa final scene. Grabe. Alright. But, uh, the cause of all that, well, uh, we just lost a very, we just lost a, uh, a really cool character in the Cells of War franchise. Si 1166, yung best friend ni male red blood cell dito. Uh, they were, well, the problem right now is stomach ulcer. So, if 1166 fell into the gastric acid pool, so, there's, there's no chance of survival there. Zero. Okay, zero percent chance. Okay. He's dead. So, well, this, uh, this had a huge uh, toll on I forgot, I forgot his name. I forgot, yeah, I forgot his name. See, pasay yung bidong bid male red blood cell dito. Okay. Um, but the final scene, okay, it just shows him in bed. Phones ringing like crazy. And well, we're we're assuming right now that he doesn't want to. He's lost the will to work. Okay. He's just lost the will to work as well. He got injured, plus, namatay pa yung kaibigan niya. Killed in the line of duty. Alright. Overall, uh, probably the most gut-wrenching episode of this anime, of the spin, of this spin-off. Alright. Yung pace niya, medyo, medyo fast, kasi we were dealing with a, uh, they were dealing with a stomach ulcer. Okay. A lot of uh, there are a lot of causes to a stomach ulcer. It can be stress. It can be too much alcohol. It can be uh, it can be too much uh, too much fatty and processed foods. Okay. It can it can be too much junk food actually. All right. And it also can be bacterial. But in this episode nagsama-sama ng causes na yun. Okay? And the ulcer was that severe. So, kumbaga, kulang na lang mabubutas na sa ano eh, kakalat na gastric acid sa outside of the stomach. Eh. Ganun, it's that close na. It's that close na to becoming uh, wow. Okay? Probably the worst stomach ulcer I've ever seen. So, yung plot maganda eh. Okay? It's an awesome plot. And, well, uh, of course, uh, yung flow, uh, dalawang beses kumambyo eh, dalawang beses kumambyo eh. First, yung unang kambyo, of course, yung nga, namatay si 1166. Namatay siya. And, uh, the second one, of course, the final scene. Uh, it just lost, the, 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 the lead male red blood cell just lost the will to work. Probably even the will to live. He just doesn't want to. He just doesn't want to work anymore because of what happened. Grabe, magbigat sa magbigat sa dibdib, magbigat sa dibdib. Nangyari kay 1166. Nagbigat ito. Nagbigat ito like that character because uh, he's the total, the total sort of the total opposite to the male red blood cell leader. He's the total opposite, pero. His words of wisdom in episode 9, parang, so sort of a premonition that he's going to be gone, and that he's going to be gone from his best friend's life. All right. So, Cells of Work, Cold Black, episode 10, two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. But, <clears throat> aside from the, uh, Aside from the education we got from this episode regarding stomach ulcer, okay, um, the loss of a the loss of a good friend, okay, it really hits hard sometimes. Oh, oh, na nung pinanonod ko lang na medyo affected na ako eh. Um, just goes to show you that uh, just goes to show you that life is short. I don't know uh, what. What the uh, what the mainstream world has been telling you about life, 
you just got you just have to live your life to the fullest you just have to uh, you just gotta learn to pace yourself you just got to value everything that is everything that comes to you okay so, and what interpretation for uh, simil red blood cell vida I think he's not valuing that anymore because he, like he he felt he lost everything when he lost his best friend. But it also tells us that kahit, kahit mawala yung bibigan mo, kailangan tuloy pa rin ang buhay. Alright? Tuloy pa rin dapat ang buhay. Okay? So again, Cells at Work, Cold Black, Episode 10. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. And wow! Lydon Films, uh, hats off to you for this episode. Talaga. Ang bigat. Ang bigat sa dibdib. Ang bigat talaga sa dibdib. But, next episode has been teasered. Looks like, uh, I don't want to fill you in on the details, okay? Teaser lang eh. Okay. It's unreliable. Teasers are, teasers are unreliable. You just have to watch this episode so that you can watch the teaser for the next episode. Okay. But, all I can say is stupid now, okay? The road to the finale has just become tougher for our for our main contact here. High Rise Invasion episodes 1, 2, and 3. It's nothing short of wow. <laughs> Grabe yung violence ng anime na to. Okay? Um, the pilot is yep. It really set the tone for uh really set the tone for for at least for the next few episodes, okay? And well all I can say about the final scenes of the three episodes are it's a bit creepy, okay? The three final scenes, the final scenes of each episode, yeah. It's a, it's 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 a bit creepy. Okay? And knowing that we're that we're watching a survival anime, okay? Wow. Uh, I never thought Shooting, shooting people in the head or bashing someone's head in would be uh, would be the main manner of death in an anime. Okay, but wow, all right? I could now see why uh, why Netflix okay, why Netflix premiered all twelve episodes of this one, and we're only reviewing three. All right? Wait, wait. Well, basically, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Okay. How can you how can you review how can you review all 12 episodes of an, of an anime in a single day? Alright? Himayhimahin muna muna. Himayhimahin muna natin. At least by at least for by three episodes each. Okay. Overall. Wow. Okay. One of the most awesome uh, first three episodes I've ever seen. Okay? Not since probably yung ganyan kasolid na first three episodes. Not since probably decadence or even or even uh, the current poster boy of the of the survival anime, the survival genre, Darwin's Game. Right? Yung pace, well. You gotta understand, it's a survival anime. It is supposed to be fast paced. Okay. If the pace slows down, I would be disappointed. Okay? <laughs> to tell you frankly, tell you frankly, Twitch. Now, the flow, uh huh. Maganda yung mga cambio bawat episode. May, may ganun, may si, may, may si pa eh. May si pa ang bawat cambio. And of course, the plot. Okay, generally for all three episodes, it's a wonderfully the plot. The plots are wonderfully attached. Okay. 
They are, they are wonderfully attached. And well, there's a there's a little there's a little bit of uh, near breast exposure. Okay, I, ne I never I never knew Yuri Honjo had such big boobs. <laughs> Have had big opais, all right. But enough of that. It's not. It's not shoujo anime. It's not the uh, what you call this. It's not the. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not a Peter Quill caliber anime. Okay. It's not a Peter Quill caliber anime. It's a survival one. Survive. It's. Uh, you can classify that as of course survival and cyberpunk. Yeah. I say me. My main dark and twisted technology behind it, alright, and you can also classify that as an isekai anime, well, basically, the lead character has been thrown into a, practically another plane of reality, alright, so that makes it an isekai, alright, simplest, uh, simplest, my simplest understanding of the word, of the word isekai, okay, so, High Rise Invasion episodes 1, 2, and 3. Two thumbs up. Okay? Two thumbs up. You know what? Um, ever since I found out that Netflix premiered, uh, premiered this anime by uh, releasing all 12 episodes at the same time, I thought, Netflix <laughs> every week? Bakit? Why release? Why release all 12 scheduled episodes of an anime at the same at in the same day at the same time? Why? Now I know why. All right, because uh, the episode, well, at least the first three episodes, they are all attached to probably wait for another week for for the other episode to air. You would probably make a lot of anime minds go nuts. <laughs> Alright? You would probably make a lot of anime brains go go haywire. Okay? I, I, I would lose my mind and if uh well, Yeah, alright. Maybe they're maybe they're concerned about everybody's mental health when when they decided to uh release all 12 episodes of the anime. In uh, in the same day. Alright? Now I know. Uh, now I get. Now, now I get it. Okay. Now I get it. Netflix. All right. Whew. This this isn't the first time I reviewed three episodes from a single anime, right? In one day. As you all know, guys, I did it with cells at work called Black, right? So, and I am glad. And I am so glad I did that, right? <clears throat> because. At that time, probably nearly two months ago, Cells at Work Code Black really uh, aired episodes two, three, and four at the same on the same day. So I was I was actually forced to review all three of those in the same day as well. But looking back at it now, I figured, wow, that was it. maybe the star maybe the stars have been reading for me to really to really review three episodes from the same anime in the same thing. Well, High Rise Invasion, right? So, this, this is going to be a weekly habit for me. This is going to be a weekly habit for me for the next four weeks. Count on it. Count on it, Twitch. Count on it, Maha Lifestyle. So, again, High Rise Invasion episodes one, two, and three. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Well, there are now three animes on the review roster that that really don't teaser the next episode. Okay, let, let me enumerate them for you. B Stars, The Promised Neverland, and now they're joined by High Rise Invasion. Alright. Well, I think Netflix figured Netflix figured. Why teaser the next episode? I'm, we're going we're going to release all 12 episodes at the same time. Why? Why, why put in teasers? Why put in teasers there? Yeah, they got a point. Because you cannot, you cannot watch all 12 episodes of High Rise Invasion over Netflix. Very convenient. So, so you can, 
that, that's, that, is, that is literally binge watching a brand new anime. Right? But you ask me, I, would, I, I, prefer, I prefer watching one episode a week. Right? Yeah, I want to I I I build myself some, some degree of suspense. But anyway, we are going next week. Of course, we're going to review the next three. So episodes 4, 5, and 6. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars Episode 6. If this isn't a build-up episode to you, I don't know what is, alright? Kukyo is now on the side of Senko. And that silence, wow. Silence is big, alright? Final scene. Well, we, we saw it in the final scene. Chukasa exposes the cell phone. That, that was that was a that was priceless. <laughs> that was priceless. Nung mismo, uh, sabi mo naka tarito, naka bisto sa cellphone. All right, and of course, well, susugod na sila. Their main goal is to well, is to take over the miracle cave. Yun lang. All right. Overall, wow. Okay. This episode is one of the one of the best uh, one of the best setup episodes I have ever I've ever seen, right? Ramdam ko that the road to the finale has begun, right? Kaling, yung pace, well, well, kung nababagalang ka, that's okay, kasi uh, it's it's built. Uh, it's well, probably the episode's main purpose is to build momentum to the final battle, All right? And they did it in a really, uh, they did it in a really classy way. Okay, the flow, the flow came mid episode. No, well, pila ka malaking cambio siguro sa buong season two ng Doctor Stone. Ukyo decides to join the Kingdom of Science. All right. He joined, he joined Senko on one condition. Kailangan, kailangan, walang, walang papatayin tao sa Senko. Well, Senko agreed. Napakasimple naman, napakasimple naman, napakasimple, napakasimple naman naman ng mga terms. Okay, sige. And yun. They now have Ukyo on their side. So, that now, that now leads Chukasa with just one, si Yoga. Yun na lang. Tsaka yung mga, yung mga minions, minions niya. Walang kwenta yun. Walang silbi yun. Si Yo, well, we've seen in the episode, nilayasan siya. Okay? After, well, uh, out of shame kasi he was the one na inassign ni Chukasa na bumantay kay Chrome. And, well, we all know, Chrome escaped on his watch. And, at saka, <laughs> probably, the, probably the funniest moment of of Dr. Stone Season 2. Ni low blow ni Chrome <laughs> Low blow of the year, okay? Low blow of the year yun. And of course, the plot, okay? Wow. This is, def- this is definitely a build-up plot. Okay, ang ganda. Ang ganda na pagkaka-execute ng episode na to. Alright? It, it all culminated, culminated in the final scene. Ayun, susugod na Kingdom of Science. Grabe. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 7. Deserve. Two thumbs up. Alright? Deserve niya. Okyo was the one who... Okyo was actually the one who helped Chrome escape. Inami naman niya kay Senko, so... And well, so we're being a Senko ng test question. Na, so, you're going, so you're gonna rat us out now to Chumasa? Okyo said no. <laughs> then... Okay, the powerful, the powerful, the empowering conversation started from there. Ganda. I would love, I would, I would love to see the uh, the final. I'm so excited about uh, watching the final four episodes. How, how Chukasa is going to handle this? Baka, the moment na the moment na talaga sumugod na si Senko, 
Man, malalaman na lang yan na, wala na akong tao. <laughs> wala na akong makasahan. That's, that's the, that's the facial expression I want to see from Tsukasa in the next episode, tell you honestly. So again, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, episode 7. I almost faltered. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Well, only the title is teaser. So, nakalagay. Final battle. I do. I am so going to... I am... I am really hyped up right now. Okay, as to what's going to happen. Because, well, the road to, fina the, road to the finale has been set. Let's just watch the final four episodes, shall we? Higurashi 2020, episode 21. It's back to its traumatizing self again, all right? It's back to its traumatizing self. Uh, wow. I never thought... Uh, I never thought Satoko would, uh, would actually kill herself and Rika in her first loop. All right? Uh, it's probably... Uh, She's being, being selfish, all right? Final scene. We all know what the final scene was, okay? Both of them die uh, when, uh, well, when Satoko activated her trap. Bumagsak yung chandelier. Boom! Sabog at dugo, all right? Blood everywhere. There was blood everywhere. Ay, mabagsak. Mabagsak ang kaba naman ang chandelier eh. Imposible hindi sumapag at dugo mo nun. Alright? Those chan... Yeah, in real life, chandeliers... Uh, well, chandeliers that big and that old, they are really heavy. Okay? Kapag nag... If there is a flaw in its installation, it can give way, yeah. Someone will die. Someone can die. From, from if that crashes to the ground, right? Someone will die. It's that heavy. Overall, whew, it was a uh, wow. It's a really disturbing episode. Okay, it made it. The death scene made it. Made it disturbing. Made it really disturbing. Nakakatroma na naman panoorin ang Igurashi. Alright? Nakakatroma na naman. The pace, you flow, and of course the plot. Well, uh, we've been experiencing infinite plots all throughout this show. Okay? All throughout this reboot, we've been experiencing infinite plots. So this is no different. <clears throat> okay, this is no different, but it's it's not boring either. Okay, it's not boring either because we we got to deep dive into somewhat into Satoko's psyche. Of course, we all know what she went through. Okay? She's had a. Uh, She's been abused as a kid by her uh, uncle. Then uh, it made it more traumatizing for her for uh, for Rika to, according to her, betray her. All right, that can be more traumatizing. And uh, yung flow, yeah, magandang cambio. I say, well, in typical Higurashi fashion, biglang gumano. All right, we ako. No, I, I for one thing did not expect that kind of a death scene. Alright? Uh, sa unang look pa lang ni, ni Sato ko, okay? I never thought she would kill Rika and herself at the same time. Uh, like I said a while ago, I think she's, I think she's just being selfish. Okay? She's just being selfish. So that's, uh, that's how I... Um, that's that is my that's my analysis of this. That's my analysis of uh, Satoko's mindset. Why she uh, why yeah why she eventually why she eventually agreed to this. 
You know what? Come to think of it. Maybe Hanyo is actually Oyashiro-sama herself. Alright? I am beginning to... Uh, I'm beginning to see the light on this matter. Okay. Hanyo is not... Hanyo is not actually who she is. It's probably Oyashiro-sama herself. Alright? Wow. So, Higurashi 2020 episode 21... thumbs up <clears throat> two thumbs up okay here's another reason we uh, we went through the same experience for um, we went through the same original experience that Satoko went uh, that compelled that that convinced her to to go through this infinite possibilities loop curse herself all right Kasi if she felt left out, then um, wala eh, parang, parang binapasura na lang siya ni, ni Rika in favor of her new clique, in favor of her new circle of friends. Alright? Mukha naman mga hipokrite, alright? They, they, they look like turds. <laughs> like, uh, like, like how Satoko described them in, in this episode. They're turds. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. <clears throat> the main reason why I gave this the two thumbs up is because of well, the deep dive factor. Okay? It made me, it made me psychoanalyze Satoko. Although I am, I'm not a psychiatrist, okay, but I just, uh, I just did it, uh, I just did it layman style. Uh, it made me, uh, it made me psychoanalyze Satoko this time. Say, um, all throughout the, uh, all throughout the anime up to this point. We, uh, there's no point in deep diving on him. There's no point in deep diving Satoko. <laughs> okay? She's as, uh, she's as open as they come when it comes to anime characters. But in this, uh, in this case, uh, the road to the finale, wow. We get to, we get to analyze her uh, a bit deeper. We got, we got to deep dive her mindset, her overall psyche. This was a good opportunity now to, to, to do some psychoanalysis on this character of the anime. So again, Higurashi 2020, episode 21. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. So, well, title has been teasered. Looks like this arc isn't over yet. This arc isn't over yet. Okay. So, I want to see... Uh, I want to see now how... How Satoko will handle the next loop. Alright? Will it be more disturbing than this one? Okay? Will it be more disturbing than this one? Well, we don't know. So all we have to do is wait for the next episode. The Promised Neverland second season episode 7. There were there were tense moments okay, in this episode. Although it's all uh, it was all uh, it was all talk. So it's just a pure talk episode. Final scene. Norman revealed uh, a side of him that he that he did not show Emma and Ray when when they were talking. All right. Looks like um, he's dying. Okay. Then. All of a sudden, his backstory started. From the time that uh, he was about to, he, the time he was shipped, okay. the time Emma, Emma, and the others were assuming that he was that he is going to that he is going to get butchered, okay. that he was going to get he was going to be turned into meat, demon meat. Right. Overall, it's a good episode. It's a good episode. The pace. Uh, yeah, it's modest okay, because uh, usap, 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 usap. and the flow, well, that kind of cambio, but it wasn't enough to uh, it wasn't enough to to set me up for the next episode, okay. And the plot, well, uh, 
Uh, I couldn't I couldn't say that this that this is a backstory episode. Nope. It's far from it. Because uh, Emma, Ray, and Norman exchanged uh, views on demons. Okay. Emma told Norman that she doesn't want to she doesn't want to eradicate the demons, but Norman yeah, insists that the demons should go in the he wants the extinction of demons, not just eradication. Okay? He wants them, he wants them extinct. Extinction of hinahabul na. Alright, that's, uh, that's, that's on an even bigger scale. And of course, Emma doesn't, doesn't want to go with it. And, yun nga, they had to cut, they had to, uh, they had to meet halfway. Kasi, well, they're, they're considered, they consider each other as siblings. Eh, kasi sabay silang lumaki. So, sabay silang sabay silang lumaki sa ampunan na yon. All right? Little did they know that they're being prepared to be meat. Okay? And the plot is the plot is somewhat good. Okay. So, The Promised Neverland second season episode 7. One thumb up. Okay. One thumb up. Kasi, what well, um, for me, for me, uh, there wasn't uh, there wasn't real conflict between uh, between Emma's and Norman's views. Kailangan siguro magkaroon ng konting argument, okay, to to deserve the to deserve the two thumbs up. But eventually, they are they are they are considered they consider each other siblings. So, well, cutting cutting a deal. Yeah, that's good. They have to meet halfway. They have to meet halfway para masatisfy yung views ng isa. Ano, masatisfy ang views ng bawat partido. They have to satisfy the views of both parties in order to walk away uh, walk away uh, accomplished. Walk, walking away so that they could walk away accomplishing something. Okay? So, yun lang, yun, yun lang, ma, yun lang may bibigyan ko ngayon sa, sa anime nito for this episode. Alright, but don't get me wrong guys, okay? it is not a boring episode. It's, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna call it a boring episode because what happened in the second half of the episode, okay? Kasi we're about to, we are about to see um, Norman's side story. Okay. So the episode prepared us for that. So again, The Promised Neverland second season episode 7. One thumb up. One thumb up lang Twitch. So, well, like Beastars, okay? The Promised Neverland never teasers anything for the next episode. Ni title wala. So, uh, if you're uh, I'm satisfied with this episode, so uh, I want more. So I'm going to watch the next episode. Jujutsu, I said 20. Wow! Oh. What I'm saying is, wow! <laughs> My god, the fight scenes! <clears throat> Vintage Jujutsu Kaisen. But hey, final scene. Did you see the curse technique Gojo used? Putak in the hand. Eh, bang, bang domain expansion na yun ah. Grabe. But, that's not actually the final scene. The actual final scene was, we see Makito holding one of Sukuna's fingers. We've all been duped. Na isang tayo. Alright? Grabe. Overall, it's a fucking good episode. Alright? Yung pace, of course, fast. Again, understandably fast. Yung flow, yung biglang takto yata kambyo rito eh. Now, yung unang kambyo, the first, um, the first gear shift was Itadori, okay? 
landing black flash four times against uh, against against ano sila ba yon uh, against that against that against that special green landing black flash four times the second gear shift was uh, Gojo using that secret technique of his and the third of course uh, Mahito getting away with the goods speechless <laughs> I am so speechless right now as to, wow. I could feel it in my bones that this is the road to the finale, all right? We're into the final five episodes and this episode was a statement to all of us, all right? That Jujutsu Kaisen is about to end. So, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20, Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Whew. All right. Compared to God of High School, Jujutsu Kaisen has better fight scenes. All right. I gotta admit. I got to admit. Its fight scenes were way better. Mas malinis ang pagkaka execute ng fight scenes. All right. Mas malinis yung execution niya. And wow. All right. No. Okay. This is this is one reason why Gojo always walks blindfolded. All right? Bukod pa sa yung mata niya na sentro ng kanyang kapangyarihan, okay? It is the it's the focal point of his curse techniques. Of his most dangerous curse techniques. Lara pa na Gojo in expansion siya. And look at those eyes. They are, they are beautiful, all right? They are beautiful. Now I wouldn't mind having those kinds of eyes, all right? <laughs> but, uh, they, they'll be a hit with the ladies, all right? They'll be a hit with the ladies. It, those are the kinds of eyes men die for. Men, men would die for. Because if they had, they had those kinds of eyes, you eh, mo mo eh. mo na lang ganun yung girl. Wow! <laughs> they, they, you, you would all... They'll be the ones asking you out for a date. <laughs> All right, but anyway, those beautiful eyes of, of Gojo's, they are dangerous. <laughs> they are dangerous. Wow. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 20. Two thumbs up. All right. Two thumbs up, Twitch. So next episode has been featured. Bakit dapat to sa ganito? But anyway, well, it's still a, it's still an inter-school battle. So what? Maybe it's a, maybe it's an event, right? So we'll just have to wait and see. <clears throat> but it's now official because of this episode. The road to the finale of Jujutsu Kaisen has begun. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 38. Alright. We're in a duel that's that's about to get a part 2. <laughs> okay. Rematch. Yuga versus Asana 2. Okay. So. Wow. Naglabasan, naglabasan na uli mga maximum monster. And who would ever thought Yuga would get his own maximum monster back? So, Magnum Overload is back. But final scene. Whoa. Ano to? Within the damage step of the battle phase, both monsters started to disintegrate. So, what's gonna happen is this. The, the, the player uh, whose maximum monster disintegrates first loses. Okay? Ganito mangyayari. Right? They're, they're, both, they're both disintegrating. Okay? They're both... Uh, their cards are disintegrating. So, do na po to lang episode. May part two pala. <laughs> you know, two part duels uh, never cease to never cease to amaze viewers and fans. All right, I assure you, this is no different. Okay, this is no different. It reminds me a lot of uh, of, of how this was a regular thing in, in the Duel Monsters era. Okay, during the time of Yu-Gi-Oh Duel Monsters, this was a regular thing. 
duels that take more than that take more than one episode. Okay? This is a regular thing, so it just brings me back. Overall, it is an awesome episode. Okay? <clears throat> the uh, yung pace. Okay, medyo mabagal kasi well, when to puso 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 that was big lang duel. Alright? Doon kumambyo ang episode. That's when the flow started becoming better. Well, they had to transition from conversation to duel. So, it now it now depended on the duel. Now, the plot felt like it was a season finale. Okay? I had that I had that season finale feels a few minutes ago, right? Because, wow, all right? If, uh, if this is going to be uh, the duel that will, uh, that will end, uh, that will end seven season one, yeah, it probably will. <laughs> it probably will end season one. Because in case you guys uh, don't remember when this anime started, it started airing April 2020. Okay? It was announced December 2019 during the last Shonen Jump. Okay? You know, during the last Jump Festa. Alright? So, it's been running for almost a year now. So, yeah, probably it's high time for, uh, probably it's high time to end, to put a cap now on, to actually declare this a season for Yu Gi Oh! 7s. This is a good way, okay? This is a good way to end a season. To end a Yu-Gi-Oh! season, right? Through a duel such as this. Two parts, okay? Two parts, okay? We just saw part one, and I am so excited. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 38. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's took a break during the, uh, during the first, uh, I think, yeah, during the first few months of the pandemic, right? It took a break during the first few months. Uh, I think two months after, two months after it started airing, right? Then it came back with, uh, then it came back with the Roa arc, okay? That's, that was an awesome arc. <clears throat> then, Kumaso uh, kasi Neil, the Neil arc naman. So, that's where, that's when the maximum summon was introduced. Then now we have the uh, the machine cavalry, the machine cavalry arc. Now to cap it off with this kind uh, with this kind of a duel means only one thing for for some fans like me. This is a season finale. <laughs> it felt like a season finale, talaga. Right? It really felt like a season finale. I had those feels. I had those feels while I was watching this episode. Um, na na season one ng Yu Gi Oh Sevens ha. Looks like they're they're going to be they're they're going to call it a season na. All right. So if uh, if my hunch is correct, the next episode will be the season finale. And look, Yu Gi Oh's in this franchise has been into a hab been into the habit of um, ending uh, ending a, ending a particular season in. Not in, you know, not in uh, 40, 50, no. 50, uh, 52, 39, 29, mga ganon. Okay, ganong, uh, ganong bilang ng mga episodes. It's into that habit. Well, Sevens is no different. If it does, if it does declare a season one, okay? If it, if it does declare the end of a season by next week. For us Yu-Gi-Oh fans, that would mean new season, new beginnings, New summons, all right. <laughs> new summons. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode thirty-eight. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. Well, should should I describe what the next episode will be? Of course, it's part two. Okay? It's um, Yuga versus Asana two part two. And wow, okay. Whose maximum monster will? Will uh, will disappear first? Of course, we know. Well, who whoever whoever loses whoever loses his or her maximum monster first loses, right? So I can't wait for that. I cannot wait for the season finale of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens.
King's Raid Episode 22. Wow, okay. Napuluan si Pavel. Right? A sorcerer as strong as Pavel. They, they finally came face to face with the Dark Lord. At isang, isang banatan lang niya. They all went flying. Ayun. Hence, Pavel's injuries. Wow, okay. Final scene. Maria, yung, uh, yung female, yung female servant ni, ni Maldo, she, she just revealed that she is a former ally. Dati pa lang kasamahan ni King Kyle to. And, uh, she announced that she's going to tell her story. That's when the episode ended. Mm. Mukhang, uh, wow, okay. This anime threw me a curveball. <laughs> Throw me a curveball. Overall, it's a really good episode. Ramdam ko that uh, this anime's road to the finale has begun. Well, the pace, may, may, well, understandably fast. Kasi uh, the Dark Lord has returned. Chaos has ensued. Okay? The chaos ensues. Tapos, of course, well, <clears throat> Magpakita ng lakas sa mga sa mga heroes natin. Kaila Castle. Castle couldn't do anything. Bigla siyang, well, the dark, ang moon threw a curveball at them. Ayun. Napuro, muntik na mapuruan si Pavel. Okay. Yung flow. Alright. Dalawang beses kumambyo. Gumano. Okay. First course, Angmon shows his power. That's why he is the Dark Lord. Okay. Then second, Maria tells Maria is about to tell her backstory. <clears throat> Lorraine knows her very well. Because well, she is part of uh, she is part of uh, King Carl's original party. The story revealed that Maria used to be a priestess, much like uh, much like uh, Frey is now okay. modern timelines priestess is uh, is free 100 years ago it was Maria who was uh, accompanying castle's father okay. yung plot wow okay like I said a while ago the plot threw us a curveball <laughs> the plot threw us a curveball by by uh, by cutting the episode off all right in a good way in a good way. So yeah, it was a really good episode, and uh, you could you could feel you can feel that King's Raid is about to end. Okay, the road to its finale has begun. So King's Raid episode twenty two. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. All right. You're gonna tell me that uh, some of you who have seen the episode, you're gonna tell me. Come on, JG. Why give it the two thumbs up? It's a, uh, it's a mediocre episode. Okay? Nope. For me, it isn't. Right? Any episode that will start the road to the finale should not be counted out. Okay? It is not a pathetic episode. Every backstory, every twist will matter from here on in. Alright? That's why it is very crucial for us anime fans to watch the final five episodes of an anime. Maria finally tells her backstory. Okay? Siya na lang wala, siya na lang wala pang origin story dito eh. Now, it's time the viewer, it's time the viewer knows her back, her side of the story naman. Well, we've seen it in the teaser. We're, 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 we are about to find out what really happened to King Kyle 100 years ago? Kaya, crucial ang backstory niya. So again, King's Raid Episode 22. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Like I said a while ago, the next episode has been teasered. Maria's backstory will now be told. We will now know what actually happened to King Kyle.
Yashahime episode 21. <laughs> Up to now, those uh, probably the two, probably two of the funniest moments of this anime, all right, in one episode. Well, oh my god, why did why did Toa do that? All right, why did Toa do that? <clears throat> I guess what. Well, She's attracted to Riku? Holy shit! What the fuck? If this isn't a WTF moment to you guys, I don't know what is. <laughs> or how does how does she find Riku attractive? So attractive that she gave her that she gave her silver pearl to him. Because that's the final scene. Alright? Then she realizes. Well, then Moro Hamiru realized that Riku is working working with Kirin Maru. Ayun, hinabol. Narealize, narealize yung pagkaamali niya. Eh, Riku is an enchanted being, so he just disappears. <laughs> Hindi mo na makahapul yun. Oh my God, Towa, what were you thinking? Oh my God. Oh. My, I am racking my brain right now as to as to why okay as to why Toa did that okay yeah uh, you, you find the guy attractive that's no reason that's no reason well Setsuna has a point okay Setsuna has a point overall it is one hell of an episode okay the fact that Toa because she likes Riku, she act, she actually gave her silver pearl to him. Okay, so Riku now has four. Okay, pero <clears throat> mind you, in case you haven't, uh, for those of you who have already watched the episode, they still have three pearls. Okay, I'll explain that. I'll explain that. I'll explain that later, okay? A little bit later. The pace, the flow, the plot. Malinis. Malinis. Oh, the pace, well, uh, it's a bit slow during the first third of the episode. Understandable. I say, well, uh... Nagkakamabutihan na sila Riku at Toa. Yeah! Yeah! That makes me want to puke all the coffee I've just drank. Oh my god. You flow? Well, the, uh, the kicker there was Toa actually giving her pearl away to Riku. Right? That was the kicker. That was. Yun ang kamyo din. Yun ang pinakamalaking kamyo rito eh. So the plot, well, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to explain to you why they still have three pearls. Remember. Riku beheads Totetsu because he was because he is going to attack the three girls. So as an act of uh, uh, heroism, he cuts Totetsu's head off. Malinis, right up, right from the neck, right from the base of its neck, from the base of its neck. Totetsu is dead now. Technically, he has a he has a rainbow pearl. So that means. They still have three. Eh, na retrieve na ni Moro ha yung ulo ni Totetsu eh. So, eh, and laki ng patong sa ulo ni Totetsu. Yun ang, yun lang ang kailangan para maklaim mo yung reward. Yun ang requirement lang sa kanya ni, ni Jubei. That is, that is Jubei's only requirement for, for her to be paid. The, uh, sort of, King's Ransom. So, Technically, they now have, they still have three pearls. <laughs> they still have three pearls. Kasi na, pati, pati na si Totetsu eh. And Moroha has his head wrapped in, wrapped like a, wrapped like a goodie bag. <laughs> wrapped like a goodie bag. Alright? So, it's still, uh, what? It's still a win for our, it's still a win for the, it's still a win for the girl. For the half demon princesses, because they still have three pearls. All right, so 
again. Technically, they now also have Totetsu Spurl. Kasi patay na eh. Pugot na yung ulo eh. Okay? Pugot na yung ulo eh. Med- medyo buhay pa nga eh. Medyo, bu- medyo buhay pa eh. Si- sinugod pa nga si Moro eh. So, so all, Moro, all Moro had did was punch his lights out. Alright? So, Yashahime episode 21. Two thumbs up! Two thumbs up! Alright. Let me, um... Let me fill you in on theory. Okay, a theory. What is going to happen now? Mga lifestyle, Twitch. The girls still have three pearls. Rico has four. Alright? We now know how how those rainbow pearls were formed. Iniyakan lang ni Zero. Okay? Lumuha lang si Zero. Tumulo, tumulo lang ang luha ni Zero sa Shikon she, she, Jewel. Okay? Kirimaru has the Shikon Jewel. Tumulo lang ang luha ni Zero doon. Then, oh, 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 oh. seven rainbow pearls came out of it. Now, I don't know if Riku's if Riku's claim is true that uh, his goal is to gather all, all the seven rainbow pearls and return it to return it to his uh, his real master, si Zero. But the way Totetsu uh, the the way Totetsu explained it, uh, the way Totetsu blurted well, the last time Totetsu blurted out at Riku explains probably explains it all. Okay. He was kicked out of the group by uh, by Kirinmaru and Zero. Kirinmaru and Zero. Okay. He was kicked out of the group. Siguro may ginawa siyang kalokohan na hindi approved kay Kirinmaru. Right? So, they say that, uh, well, now, I think that is the only truth to, uh, to Riku's, uh, to Riku's, uh, somewhat back, twisted backstory na he's a castaway puppet yeah he there is some truth to that because Totetsu said that as uh, that his actions will never be forgiven by uh, him Kirinmaru and Zero right so we can, we can assume that he was kicked out of the group right so his claim of being a castaway puppet There's some truth to it, all right. <clears throat> so the road to the finale is starting to get more interesting, all right. I wonder how the uh, how the seven rainbow pearls will be will be uh, will be gathered together. Who gets the other set, all right? So the girls still have three. Riku has four. There will. Probably, okay, the finale will end up um, will end up becoming a three against one battle okay, between the half demon princesses and Riku for control over all the pearls. Bakagana na mangyari dyan, right? Hindi na siguro it's a pwera na sila zero at kirin maru dyan. That's my theory, right? That is my theory. It's my opinion. So again, Yasahime episode 21. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. So, well, next episode has been teasered. Ooh. Ako, kawawa si, ano? Kawawa si Miroko rito. Alright? That, that's all I can say. So, the road to the finale is about to get more, it's about to get, uh, it's about to get, it's about to heat up even more with with this forthcoming episode. That's what I think. Okay? That's the way I see it. Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 12. Wow! Hindi ka politika nangyayari ngayon sa Paradise. Oh my God. God. Whew. Wow. All right. I'm totally speechless as to what what just transpired in this episode. All right. But one thing's for sure: the road to the fin- the road to the uh, to to the anime's finale definitely has begun. 
The Scouts Brass Yan sila Sila Hanje Sila Hanje Si Jean Si Sino bang kasama doon? Tony uh, And the rest of the uh, And the rest of Eren's uh, Eren's Inner Circle okay, Kasama yata si Mika sa doon Tsaka si Si Armin Why? Talaga yung mga closest friends ni Ni Eren Talaga yung mga Yung talagang Core the core of the scouts. Okay, they were rushing. They were rushing to some scene. Then, some spy, some spy got featured. Then the episode was cut off. Wow. <sighs> Overall, it's an awesome episode. Okay. I could feel it in my bones. Yeah. Okay. I could feel it in my bones that um, the attack on Titan finale is about to end. Talagang it's the final five episodes of the anime. Alright? The pace, well, unconventionally fast for, uh, for, a, uh, for a setup episode. Alright? Uh, I don't think you can call that a setup, setup episode kasi may, may patayan ng kari. Alright? The premiere has been assassinated. Now, and in addition to that, Eren escapes. And uh, and gets united with the new LDN Empire. Ito yung mga grupo ng mga sympathizers niya. Now, we have no idea kung sino talaga ang kung sino talaga ang nagpapatay sa premiere. Okay, ki premiere sa akin. Now, the flow. Grabe kambyo. Alright. I've seen okay, Two of the biggest gear shifts. Two of the biggest gear shifts probably in this anime. Yung uh, the assassination of the premier and of course Eren escapes. If these aren't two of the biggest gear shifts in this anime, I don't know what is. I'm totally not familiar. I'm totally not familiar kasi uh, talagang tinutuko ko lang yun is the final season. I only have an idea of what seasons one to three were all about is through, uh, through, uh, through the movie Chronicle, okay? Attack on Titan Chronicle. But I'm sure you would agree with me. I'm sure you would agree with me, guys. Okay, mga lifestyle. That the two major events that happened in this episode were the two biggest gear shifts of the anime. All right? Grabe. Well. That says everything about the plot of this episode. Probably the plot of the final five episodes of Attack on Titan. Baka dito na mag-revolve ang... ang... Uh, ang, ang story... ang remaining storyline ng Attack on Titan. Alright? Grabe. Whew. I was actually... Uh, I was actually dumbfounded by the uh, by the assassination of the premier. Who would do this? Okay. Who would benefit? I don't know. I don't know if the Yigris were were behind this. Pero yung pagkakataas ni Eren, I am very sure they are behind it. I don't know if you can call Eren a god now because he has achieved godlike status right now because of what he did to Marley. What he did. Right? Grabe. Grabe talaga. Whew. So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 12. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. I love the uh, the politics that surrounded this episode. Okay? The, uh, the ensuing the ensuing turmoil. The political turmoil. Galing. It was well executed. Talagang, this, this episode made me feel that the Attack on Titan anime is about to end. Right? Something big is about to happen. Well, I don't know. The two biggest events probably of this, uh, of this final season happened. Uh, the premier got, the premier got, the premier got murdered, got blown to bits. And of course, Eren escapes. And joins with the joins the new LDN Empire. 
right? So he laid out, he, he also laid out his plans here. He wants to know where his brother is, Sisi. Now I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do. So no one knows. For now. <laughs> so again, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 12. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. Well, next episode has been teasered. I'm clueless. I am so clueless, alright? All we have to do now is, well, enjoy watching the final five episodes of the Attack on Titan anime. Let's just watch it, alright? Let's just watch it. X Arm Episode 8. Mm. Things got really interesting, alright? We found out that, oh, Beta is actually a copy of Akira. Wow. Bad trip. <laughs> okay. So, so, naturally, Beta knows every single one of Akira's moves. He's practically, he is at least five steps ahead of Akira. Final scene, he, he goes over the top, uh, the Amaterasu comes in, well, and, and we all found out that Miyabe, uh, the, old man's, the old man's guardian, is actually Pita. Right? Android, Android din pala siya, pero, um, Beta infiltrated him right before the auction started. Wow, right? This is this is started to become a battle between two hackers, right? Which is awesome, all right? The storyline gets better by the episode, all right? Overall, this is this is a good setup for the road to the finale, right? Uh, and some of you might not know that uh, well, X Arm is only a 12 episode run. So, we're now, its road to the finale has started. Hell, yeah, it, it felt like it, right? It really felt like it. So, the pace, yeah, I say because it's a race against time. It, it, it is a race against time because lives, human lives are at stake. So, the flow, yeah, there, there were, there, there were, there were gear shifts like that, like, uh, of course, we, 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 we found out here that Beta is actually a copy of Akira. Alright? That's the curveball there. <laughs> That's the first gear shift there, alright? But, but it is a curveball. Okay? The, the, the anime throws a curveball there. And uh, I think the, the second gear shift was, of course, uh, uh, another revelation that, well, Miyabe is also Beta. Alright? So, I can't ask for more. <laughs> the start, well, the plot, getting over from the last one. <clears throat> if you ask me, if you ask me, um, the X Arm storyline is cyberpunk gold. Right? Forget about the animation. Let's forget about the animation. That's that. Uh, that's the. Uh, that's visual light. That's visual flights problem. All right. We have to concentrate. We have to look past that because the storyline of X Arm is really good. All right, it's time to be smart anime fans with this one. That's all I can say about the in support of the uh, of the entire storyline. Okay, now for the plot of the episode, it's it's been carried over carried over from the last one. So yeah, yeah, it's right. Dito magkasubukan talaga ang mga ang ang mga panig eh. Dito talaga, ma, dito talaga makakasop ko niya mga yan. Alright? So, X-Arm Episode 8. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Bakit? In the case of X-Arm, you have to look beyond the animation. Alright? Only normies would actually judge an anime solely on animation alone. Alright? 
Now for us, uh, for for the more seasoned anime fans like uh, like me and and other probably other Gen Xers and Millennials out there, we uh, we don't give a fuck about the animation. Okay, some of us we do not give a fuck about the animation. We we only give a shit about the storyline. Okay. The moment I read X Arm synopsis, I thought. Ang angas, this, ang angas siguro ng buong storyline nito. Ha? Sige. I'm going to gamble on this one. It was actually a choice between uh, I'm ashamed to say it. Redo of Healer. Okay? And this one. So, <clears throat> kinumpara ko yung dalawang synopsis. Uh, I compared the two synopsis. And I thought Nah. Okay. I'll do XR. Because it's, uh, it's, it's synopsis but stimulated me more. Okay. It stimulated me more. It made me, uh, it made me want to deep dive into it. Redo of Healer. Uh, I read the synopsis and I, and I thought, I've seen this storyline before. I've seen this storyline before. Probably in a hentai. <laughs> Probably in a hentai. But, are they gonna go mainstream on this? I thought this was a hentai manga. How are they going to pull this off? Man, well, eventually, everybody is ranting about Redo of Healer. So, on my part, I made the good choice. <laughs> uh, I think I, I think I was, I think I was prophetic on that uh, at that moment because I chose, I chose to review X Arm instead of Redo of Healer because. I thought the story, X Arm storyline, based on its synopsis, was was way better. And well, I am a I am a fan of the cyberpunk genre. Cyberpunk and mecha are my thing, All right? So I thought, ooh. So as the episodes went along, I thought, wow, this is cyberpunk gold. <laughs> This is actually cyberpunk gold I just, I, I dug up all those weeks ago. <laughs> so, I made the right decision, right? I made the right decision in uh, reviewing X-Arm instead of Redo of Healer. Instead of wasting my time on, on probably, uh, as they say, one of the shittiest animes ever made. Alright? So, well, if you compare the, animation, the animations of X-Arm and Redo of Healer, well, Redo of Healer is slightly better, but Story, but story-wise, oh yeah, uh, I'll pick X arm anytime. <laughs> I'll pick X arm anytime. All right. So the road to uh, well, X arm has started its road to the finale, episode eight, and yeah, it's a really good setup. It's a really good setup. I want to, um, I want to see now in the next episode. How Akira is going to respond to this uh, to this stunt pulled off by Beta? I want to see his reaction. I want to see Ogre again. <laughs> I want him to call back Ogre. All right. Now is the perfect time for him to go Devil Mode with Ogre. Okay. Now is the perfect time to use Ogre and go Devil Mode once again. But this time it's a it's a really evil enemy. This is his alter ego, si Beta. I rest my case. <laughs> so again, X Arm episode eight. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. What makes me now? What makes me uh, want to to watch the next episode is well, I've seen. I, I really want to see what how Akira's going to respond how Akira's going to respond this time. But what made me more curious is the title of the next episode. Fallen Messiah. Ooh. I suddenly got those Evangelion feels. Alright? The way of the next episode is titled gave me those Evangelion feels. Fallen Messiah. Right? You would expect a title such as that in a cyber only in a cyberpunk anime. Mark my words.
Truth Cookie Master Boy, second season, episode 8. Sabi ko na nga ba eh, nilampaso ni Mao Sisuki. <laughs> nilampaso! But, uh, a secret has been revealed about Suki. Basically, um, no wonder he, no wonder he doesn't taste his own dishes. Wala siyang sense of taste talaga. Alright? Umaasa lang siya sa sense of smell niya. This cost his, uh, cost his loss to Mao. Final scene. Well, uh, everyone has mended their ways. Mainly uh, repairs his, repairs his super chef, his super chef shirt. <laughs> ang sweet. Okay, ang sweet. It's a killing moment, alright? There's a killing moment here. And, well, they are now uh, with refreshed and renewed, all three of them set off for the fourth legendary cooking utensil. Hahanapin na nila. So, it's in Chengdu. It's in Chengdu province. So, didiretso na sila doon. And, well, uh, again, Mao leads the restaurant to his, uh, to his, to his elder sister. So, siya na ang pangatakot. Overall, it is a really satisfying episode. <laughs> yung, yung pace, well, medyo may kabilisan kasi um, probably the animators really wanted to show us that, well, Mao didn't show any mercy. He, he did not show mercy in this episode. Talagang, he really focused on his own cooking. Okay? So, yun ang, that's how, uh, that, well, that's exactly what the animators are probably trying to impart to us. Kaya, that's why the face is a little bit fast. Because, well, like, like Mao said in the last episode, I won't show mercy. And he did. <laughs> And he did. Okay, he proverbially did. The flow, well, um, medyo expected ko na. Medyo expected ko na yung, uh, tawag dito, yung magiging panalo ni Mao rito. Because, well, he was, he was really focused on his own cooking. And he's not being swayed by, uh, by Zuki's, by Zuki's showmanship. Right? Eh, kaya pala nag-show showmanship tong taon to eh. Eh, walang, walang panlasa eh. Alright? How can you be, how can you be a chef if you don't have a sense of taste? Alright? So, umasa na siya sa sense of smell niya. Yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't rely on just your sense of smell all the time if you're a chef. Uh, if you're a cook. Then, of course, the plot, get it over from the last episode. Like he said, I won't show mercy. Zuki learned the hard way in, uh, on how to deal with Yu Mao Sing. So, <clears throat> uh, as usual, of course, uh, if, you, uh, if you're a member of the cooking underworld and you lose to Yu Mao Sing, you may be, uh, it may cost you your life, right? Hindi ka lang bolted out of the cooking underworld, you, the cooking underworld will send someone to kill you. Patapos niya buhay mo. Tatapusin nila buhay mo. That's how, uh, that's how evil this organization is. Okay? And that is how, um, how pissed off they are at Mao. Alright? So, through Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 8. Road to the finale has begun. Two thumbs up. Alright? Mainly because, may, mainly because I, I really got I really felt the satisfaction in Mao here because, well, he lived up to this word that uh, he's up against one of the five Tiger Stars. He will not show mercy. And he did. Right? It's probably the best way to show, to not show mercy to your, to be merciless to your opponent. Just focus on your, on what you can do. Okay? There's a life lesson. There's a life lesson there. If you want to be ruthless, here's the life lesson here. If you want to be ruthless to everybody else, focus on what? Focus on your own talents. Focus on your skills. Focus. Uh, focus on what you can do to uh, to make others happy. To make 
the people who believe in you happy. All right? So that's, that's another thing why uh, I gave it the two thumbs up. There is a life lesson to be learned here in this episode. All right? So again, through Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode eight, two thumbs up. Thumbs up, Twitch. I know it's the next episode. Na to. All right? But I'm sure the... I'm sure it was a good call for for production IG to do this, right? Because well, I think they're now going to focus on what um, Lee N and uh, and Xie Lu uh, on their on their separate adventures, yata. All right. Uh, this is one reason why you should not trust teasers because it's a real mix. Okay, they can mix they can mix scenes up. Just to tease the episode, all right? So your best bet now is to watch it, okay? The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment, Episode 8. Galing. Imagine yourself trying to get out of purgatory for an equivalent 60 human years because the only um, <clears throat> the on, the only stumbling the only um, the only thing blocking your path to success is the demon king <laughs> all right 6000 plus times he has thwarted all your attempts all right wow all right that's exactly what happened in this episode Final scene. Ban is reunited with uh, Elaine. He heals her, gives her, gives him probably half his life force to her para mabuhay lang. And well, a uh, a rare kilig moment in this anime. Okay. Wow. Uh, I still can't believe Ban Ban is isn't an immortal anymore. Okay. How is he going to be? Uh, how is he going to be a deadly sin now? Right. Overall, it's an impressive episode. It's a breathtaking episode, actually. Because, well, I I was speechless in half the half the time. I was speechless because I couldn't fathom. Uh, I couldn't fathom the pace. Right. You would find it slow. You would find it. Someone would even find it fast. But for me, it's just right. It's just right. Tamang tama na, okay? Uh, sakto lang. Pero yung flow, teka, let's talk about the flow before we get ahead of ourselves. Right? So the flow is, did you expect that ko na yung cambio eh? Kasi, uh, when the moment <clears throat> Meliodas uh, realized that they're being when they went into that chasm, they, they were being pulled apart. Okay. Him and Ban were being him and Ban were being pulled apart. They're not they're not going in one direction. <clears throat> it's because they they went into purgatory uh, differently. Ban went through Hawk through Hawk's magic, and Meliodas Meliodas on the other hand on the other hand absorbed a commandment and turned himself into a cocoon. That's how he got there. Right so. Different modes of different modes of entry, same modes of exit. That's basically what happened. Now, <clears throat> the plot is now telling us that uh, all the seven deadly sins should now go to Camelot and revive Meliodas. Okay, siguro yun ang yun na yun na siguro magiging uh, mission na yon ng seven deadly sins to well to basically get their captain back. To get their captain back out of this cocoon and hope he doesn't become the demon king himself but I doubt that he becomes the demon king all right after he spat with his father he actually tore his father's tore, tore his father's arm just to just to get away just to escape <laughs> that was a morbid moment that was a morbid moment right the son actually, the son actually cutting off the father's arm. 
<laughs> All right. So, the seven deadly sins, Dragon's Judgment, episode eight. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, yan. Bakit? Bakit Twitch? Kasi we um, if you if you would deep dive into this episode, we the viewers would be brought back to the same boat we started on in the final in during the last five episodes of season three. Right? Nagbunang nagkulong sa isang kukun si Melodas to fully absorb the commandment. Kaya siya napunta sa Corregatory. So, sin goes with Ban. He goes to Purgatory through Hawk. And now that they're back, Meliodas is now, well, is back, is back where he's, back where he started. In a cocoon. Now, his, his only prayer right now is for, for the other deadly sins to rescue him. Looks like, looks like he knows what, looks like he now knows what to do. Uh, in order to, in order to, in order to get those curses lifted, lifted off him and Elizabeth, I think he now knows what to do. All right? Well, after the spat he had with his father, the Demon King, I don't, I don't think the Demon King is going to allow, going to allow him to be on the throne. <laughs> nope, not by a long shot. Not by a long shot, guys. Not by a long shot. But it's a it's a it's a really impressive episode, all right? I thought this would be a uh, this would be a boring one, but it proved me wrong. Akalain yung all right? Put yourself in put yourself in Melodas and Banz's shoes. You attempted six thousand ninety three times, and at the six thousand ninety four time, you were able to go back. Right? So 6,093 times you were thwarted by the Demon King. But you did not give up. You found a way. Mm. But uh, it's at the cost of someone. Okay? Wild is dead. Probably one of the um, uh, one of the best comic reliefs of in any anime. <laughs> Alright? And well, we all know that he is Hawk's older brother, so. Comic Relief is... Alam na natin kung, kung, saan, kung saan minana ni Hawk yung kanyang Comic Relief. But, uh, I'm really sad about uh, what, of how Wild had limited exposure here. I don't, I don't know if he's going to come back because well, anything can happen now. It's a 24 episode run, guys. It's a 24 episode run. So, Wild can come back or he may not. Who knows? Right, it's up to the animators. <laughs> Basically. So again, The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 8. Two thumbs up, okay? Two thumbs up, Twitch. So, the title of the next episode has been teasered. That's all. <laughs> all we have to do is... Now, well, it's up to you to either just guess what the title is all about or wait for next week to watch it. For me, I'm gonna watch it. Dog Horizon 3rd Season, Episode 8. Mukhang mga, mukhang bobo na magkapatid na pero kung takina, ancients pa na. And what? Well, They're freeloaders. <laughs> That's for sure. Final scene. Uh, the, uh, the useless sisters, as they're being called here in the episode, uh, they came to Akiba to well, to warn everybody about this genius that they're being they're being tracked. They're, they did to warn everybody of this genius that they're they've, they've been tracking all this time. All right. <clears throat> well, uh, final scene. Well, Shiro just said Akiba's being targeted. Ooh, right. If that's if that's not an omen to you guys, I don't know what is. Overall, 
It's a good episode. It's a good episode. Um, the pace, well, in typical Log Horizon fashion, yeah, it's um, it's slow, right? But not, but not the type of slow that will uh, that will bore you to death, or even, or even me, or even make you um, switch to another anime, right? Because you yourself want to know what what the what these what the uh, what the what the sisters deal is, right? So the flow, well, malaking kamyo yun. When when the when the when the when the useless sisters told everybody what why they why they why they why they what why, why they chose Aki why they chose to go to Akiba, all right? So. So that means, well, means only one thing. The road to the season 3 finale has begun. <laughs> They'll be up against another genius. Wonderful. And the plot, well, it's a, it's a lull episode. It's a lull. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a total lull. But not to the type that, uh, that would that would piss you off or make you sleepy. No, it's not that. It's nowhere near that. Because, well, secret relations, secret feelings have been, uh, have been dug up, all right? Maraming intrigero ngayon eh. Maraming, 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 uh, what's it called this? Umiintrigan ngayon ni Shiro eh. With regards to his love life. <laughs> okay. With regards to his love life. It's a good, it's a good turn. It's a good turn of, a good turn of events for the anime kasi matagal na rin natin hindi ano eh matagal na, matagal na rin natin hindi nakikita si Shiro uh, eh, to find himself in that line of questioning alright but he doesn't know it okay he's that dense he is that fucking dense when it comes to uh, when it comes to relationships so Log Horizon 3rd season episode 8 Them up. Well, I give only a one thumb up because, uh, yeah, the comic relief is there. Okay, these the, the useless sisters, okay, they're actually ancients. They have been around since the since the inception of the game. The Elder Tale. The the who we go sa kanilang lahat just sa world, just sa. Just sa alternate, just sa alternate world na yan, right? It's the game that got them easy kaid, okay? It's the game that got them easy kaid, basically. So they've been around since, uh, well, since the game started. Pero as time went on, uh, the game has been improved immensely. They've been forgotten. So to them, it's a hibernation, right? But their warning, the way they delivered the warning, um, I wasn't convinced at all. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't astounded at all. All right, enough to, uh, enough to give it two thumbs up. Pero if it weren't for Shiro's reaction to their, to their information, I might have given it a lower rating. Right? I might have given it a lower rating, but uh, due to the main protagonist's reaction to, to that warning, to that, to, that, uh, to, that, to that piece of information they got, all right, let's give it, the, let's give it a high rating. After all, uh, the, lead, the main protagonist is concerned. It's probably a genius they have never, they, they, well, they've never heard before, basically. <clears throat> and uh, obviously, they have the. It's a genius they have. It's a genius they've yet to face. Even Shiro hasn't heard of this genius before. Guys, Okay. So he instantly labels it as a uh, as a threat. After all, he is a guild master. He is looking out for the. He is looking out for his fellow guildmates. Right? That's his responsibility. So again, 
Long Horizon third season episode eight. On the map. On the map that twitch. Change it. Well, uh, next episode has been teasered. I think we'll be up for more uh, for more lulls. I don't remember Log Horizon uh, having this road to the finale before. Alright? Because uh, the way I remember it in season 1, the last 5 episodes, last 5 episodes, pinagahandaan nila yung pinagahandaan nila yung, ano, yung final boss eh. They, talagang they prepared for uh, for the first four episodes of the road to the finale. Talagang they prepared for four episodes. Then the finale came, boom! Slam bang finish. Right. Even in season two, uh, no. Uh, for season two naman, they did not prepare for the final battle until Episode so 26 episodes didn't it? Episode 23. Right? But the road to the finale started in episode 22 as in final, diba final five episode two time. So, this will be something new for them. And well, uh, I hate to say it, but well, we'll just have to wait for the next episode. But one thing's for sure. Log Horizon has started the road to its finale with this episode. Beastars second season episode 8. First time I've probably seen Beastars go psychological from start to finish in an episode, alright? I couldn't remember, um, I could not remember season 1 going, uh, going, uh, going all, uh, all psychological like this uh, for a full episode but anyway we got introduced to a, to a rather new character all right actually two actually two see Sheila the leopard and Peach the the sheep so final scene Louis destroys his phone you want to know why because Haru was calling Mm -hmm. Right? Seems like, uh, seems that uh, Haru wants to reconnect with, uh, with Louis. Upon Juno's instigation? I don't, yeah, I think so. Yeah, probably. Think so. Overall, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a really good episode. Now, the pace is, uh, the pace is slow. Uh, the pace is slow because, uh, like I, uh, like I mentioned a while ago, they were they went they went psychological with this episode, right? so it is slow. But not the but not the type of slow but not the type of slow that will piss you off. All right, you get to you get to deep dive while the while the episode is running. All right, the flow, no, not much. Uh, the gear shift wasn't that uh, wasn't that strong. The gear shift wasn't that strong because uh, the only gear shift the only gear shift I saw in this one is the final is from the final scene. Louis uh, destroys his phone by uh, dropping it from a dropping it from the top of a tall building. And he says, phone. Goodbye. And the plot, yep. Uh, after. After the events of episode eight, and after the events of episode seven, I don't know. Oh, episode. But anyway, so episode uh, episode seven. Uh, okay, we got a uh, we got a uh, a modest plot this time, all right? Is it? Well, you gotta admit. The events of the last episode were were quite stressful. Okay, were quite stressful. So here we uh, were here they, they toned down a bit. They have uh, toned down a bit. So they went uh, they went deep dive mode. Okay? The anime went deep dive mode here. But again, overall, it's a it's a really good, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. Nothing boring. Nothing. Uh, 
nothing uh, out of place. Nothing out of place. So it's the type that you will. It's the type that you that you will watch. All right. Because well, you get to meet new characters and uh, you get to know what you get. You get to know what their overall psyche is. All right. Told you this episode went psychological. So, B Star second season episode eight. We gotta understand because episode seven was quite a stressful episode to watch because we got to find out who Tem's killer is, right? And the uh, his his psychological profile. Psychological profile. Okay. So yeah, that would that would mean that would uh, that would lead to a lot of stress because storyline is intense so probably the animators figured that maybe we should um, maybe we should go to deep dive mode for a bit in this episode so no uh, no heavy gear shifts in the plot okay no it's not as fast paced as the last one okay? but, uh, no. the pace is actually slow in episode the pace was actually as uh, slow in episode 7 because we they had to build the suspense as to who the killer is but it doesn't warrant the two thumbs up all right it wasn't uh let's call this i think i got uh i think i got disappointed in the flow of the of the episode because there weren't any heavy gear shifts like the last one, all right? Like the last one. But you, you have to understand because you just saw one of, you just saw probably the most crucial episode in the entire anime. And you want more of that? I don't think so. <laughs> Not the type of deep, deep dive not the type of deep dive episode that I would give a two thumbs up to. Alright? So, I don't want to up now. Sorry guys. So again, B-Star second season episode 8. Oh, come on. Come on, Twitch. But we just have to... Uh, no, B-Stars is full of surprises because they do not teaser the next episode. Alright? Yeah. Studio Orange surprised me again, right? Studio Orange surprised us again.